What is up everyone, Struggleflex is here bringing you guys Advent Calendar on day 13 and it's actually fairly decent this time and it also means we're gonna get more of the same sort of bundles. And what I mean by bundles is that these are the Berlin Trio which then turned into the Berlin Quartet because when the first of these series of things came out we only had the Cromwell B and the IS and uh... What even is the other tank? <laughs> There's another tank in the Berlin 3 that I'm completely blanking out on right now. And this was only in Russia, but they didn't have the Cromwell B. And in the end, it was like, why the fuck are you not telling everything? Anyway, this turned into the Berlin Quartet. And uh, this is fairly good news seeing it here. This probably means that the Cromwell B is on its way as well. And the IS-2 and stuff like this. Now, why is this, uh, why is this cool? Because these tanks started the whole um major qualifications and the perk brothers and arms meme where you have the zero crew skill brothers and arms crew which is extremely useful and a really nice to have well, obviously this is the shitty ass bundle that you don't want to buy if you're gonna buy it buy it without a bundle it is 19 euros uh which comes with the full crew that is the awesome crew with the brothers and arms for free so that's a pretty major thing Keep in mind that you're gonna have to retrain this crew to the TD you're actually playing because it is a premium tank so you can just put that crew back into this tank without retraining. So that's always a bit of weird here so you have to spend a little bit of gold to get the most out of this crew uh, if you're not gonna you know keep it in the tank which I imagine most people will not do. Uh, also keep in mind that you can retrain this crew uh, to be a non-TD crew as well. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind there. 19 bucks is, yeah, it's okay, I guess. We just had 30% off all tier 7 and 6 vehicle premiums in the tech tree as well. Um, but that's the main competition here. Uh, by the way, side note, it is on the same, it's the same Advent calendar across all servers. Um, so, obviously, people are going to compare this to the other tier 7 um, TD premium, that is the SU-122-44. So, ISU-122-S, insane DPM, 3300 DPM on a tier, 60, a tier 7 TD uh, with a 122 mil, meaning you will overmatch a lot, is insanity. Uh, however, it gets stopped pretty much by insane dispersion, 0 0.39, which is the same as the SU-122-44. So, if you just compare the vehicles, you will see that a lot of things show up red in the SU-122-44. Uh, compartment and that means that the DPM is, is like this thing is already known for sick DPM 3000 DPM is insanity uh, base this is without any upgrades uh, so DPM is even better than the ISU 122S um, and then the gun handling is better during tank the first turret the first and whilst moving uh, and it has more gun depression and more gun elevation and minus six is actually pretty neat um, <clears throat> the gun traverse is the same, which means there's almost nothing. Minus 8, plus 8. Uh, it's not a lot of gun traverse, which means you're going to be moving a lot. In which case... Oh. Hello. <laughs> in which case, the, uh, the, um, the, the slightly better aiming stats here do help a little bit. But in the end, this really doesn't matter. The, the, the gun handling is trash on both. Absolutely trash. Uh, but you do have minus 6 gun traversion, which is a little bit nicer. Now, mobility-wise, you do have um, uh, more engine power, but it's also way heavier. So the power to weight is fairly worse than on the SU uh, 2244. And the train resistors are also better. And the tank first is a whopping 43.8, which is insanity. That's really freaking good. And then the hull armor uh, is the same frontally, 9075 and 90 side is actually really good, right? But we all know by now how the SU looks like. The SU is a wedge. It's just fully sloped at a really good angle, meaning that your effective will be around 150, 148 plus, And while you angle, things obviously go up. And being in a tier 7 TD with this kind of armor, uh, with a gun metal that's indestructible as well, uh, you can actually get away with quite a bit fighting other tier 7s, 6s, and 5s that you will see in this tank every once in a while, of course. Now, in a top tier game, if you look at the IS-2 3D model, it's the blocky one that only gives you about 100, so 50 less, and a weak lower plate, all that. Also, the Traverse is infinitely worse, 
So wiggling like this to get a little bit most of it out of your armor, maybe some surprise bounces. And this thing is really easy to do this. In the ISU, not so much. This is more backline sniping, while this is more like a battering ram in your face kind of thing. Now, why does that matter? It's because in your face, your accuracy of 0.39 doesn't really matter too much if you could just overpower them with sheer volume of firepower right in someone's face. Now, you can only do this against tanks that don't have a lot of pen, of course, meaning tier 6 and 7 mediums, stuff like this. Um, so, this thing will be able to snipe a little bit better, but you're sniping with 39, uh, uh, 0.39 accuracy, which is trash. Absolute trash. So, I think some people might like this tank, uh, but you have to keep in mind as well that the gun, look at this, this is like nothing. If you look at the first six on both sides this is not the greatest thing i've ever seen in my life um so yeah you will be moving a lot accuracy is really bad dpm is insanity right in a higher tier game you could argue that this tank is better than an su 12244 and the other thing that this thing has is 350 fuel range you might be thinking wow why is that a good thing because the su 12244 only has 330 fuel range which is insanely bad so this is more of a campy ETD. Um, it's not bad per se. There's worse things at tier seven for sure. Um, do I recommend buying it though? Uh, not really. I think you're better off buying the IS-2 premium tank at tier seven and converting that crew to wherever you want than buying this tank personally. However, the pricing is not super terrible. I mean, still 19 euros, which, you know, it's, it's still a lot of money, but it's like an endless debate, but I can't say it's a bad tank. It's it's fairly decent. Some people will enjoy this more than an SU-12244 simply because it's slightly easier to use. And, in, and you know, with lower speed uh, comes a bit of, you know, it's it's harder to make a mistake in, a, in this thing than an SU-12244. In SU-12244, uh, you want to go fast. You want to battering ram people. You know, you want to go in, go ham. And this is a little bit more laid back. And for some people, this is a safer tank to play. But... This will not take away that the SU-12244 is a fucking mean-ass machine versus its own tier and lower. Whereas the ISU is mean, but it will take a lot of damage in return where the SU-12244 wouldn't. So, not a terrible purchase. Uh, without the bundle, 19 bucks with the crew is decent. Like, I'm not going to say don't buy it ever, because it, it is a pretty damn good vehicle for, for those who enjoy its playstyle. If you like inaccurate guns, though, stay the fuck away <laughs> from any of this. Um, and for those who already bought the SU-12244 on my recommendation during the weekend on the EU server where it was 30% off the gold price in the tech tree, then I would definitely stay, say don't don't buy this one. You know, uh, just enjoy what you already have, right? And if you want, if you really want the Zero Crew Skill Crew, there's probably an IS-2 along the way. Um, that will give you the same benefits. And like I said, you can retrain your crew to be something else. So you can retrain this TD crew to be a heavy tank crew and, uh, you know, other way around as well. So that's about it for me today. I'm not quite sure if I have gameplay on this SU ISU-122S. <clears throat> I don't think I actually do. But if I do, it should be on the screen right about now. And if I have some SU-12244 gameplay, I'll put it up on the screen right now as well. Uh, but that's it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoy these kind of videos. If you do, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. I would always, I really like seeing the comments of guys that bought it last time or something like that. I really like seeing the, 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 the experiences you guys have had with the tank. And I think it's a valuable input for people that after they watch the video, they can look down into the comment section to see a couple of people giving their opinion on it as well. You know, it's good to see. Thank you very much for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one though. Peace out.